Mega Mechatronics. And we are back to Mega Mechatronics, continuing our sick bike build. So let's get into this. I temporarily strapped these in here, this uh, down tube support. Um, I didn't want to weld to this frame and compromise its strength, so I just added some this tube over around here and we'll weld it together. Uh, we may leave these straps on there, these are some heavy duty straps. And then I welded the top little motor mount tab on there, uh, or tacked it on, and put some more tacks on. We uh, here, This is sort of an outer protective shield that was tacked in. Uh, but most importantly was the shot cam uh, arms here, these two arms right here. And um, I hand fabricated this little spacer guy that will go in there like that. Just give it a little more support uh, when you fully weld this together. And there's going to be quite a bit of force on here, or fatigue. So we added um, a chrome molly tube to fit inside of the aluminum tube right there to, to give it some alt, uh, super strength and we can watch how this this cam, so watch this, that's the bottom shock mount in sort of a cam system so at the at the wheel we're gonna have nine inches, about nine inches of travel and then at the shock we'll see about six inches of that so uh, to find this angle, we used our handy angle gauge along with the data from the CAD design. So from the CAD, I grabbed what is the angle from this to this, and we came up with uh, 150, 151. And so we did a little trig. I, had to, I drew a little diagram on the table here. Uh, easily clean this off later and then I ended up with 15 and a half degrees uh, this would be 15 and a half degrees so this angle right here um, 15 and a half from the table so the bike is sitting a little weird so my reference point was is really this right here at whatever angle that is and then through that we can figure out um, from the 151 came up to that we came up with the uh, correct angle that we ne needed to sit about about 15 and a half uh, might be off a little bit but 15 degrees I'm not gonna worry about a half degree and then uh, from there we just tacked it on got a little tack here a little tack there and uh, that'll give us enough strength just to mock this up, test it out. So the next step is we need to get the shock on there uh, so that we can mount up the tires, mount up the uh, front forks and tire as well, and then uh, get the chain hooked up and see uh, if we're going to have any trouble with the chain uh, uh, alignment or anything. That's probably the most important thing I'm worried about at this point. Um, so with the shock I'm using, yeah. Um, with the shock I'm using here is this cheap uh, one I got from eBay here. Uh, high quality Chinese here. And it, it's a little short um, because we did measure uh, the max here. So those distances here. So with the suspension fully compressed from here to the bottom shock mount is uh, approximately 11 and a half inches. And then when we go to um, the other end of the here, so from here to here is 17 and a half. So that leaves us, it's about six inches of travel. But uh, what I'm worried about now is this distance here for the shock. So 17 and a half inches, um, and the shock eye to eye is only about 12 and a quarter with it adjusted all the way in with the, uh, this part screwed in all the way. So we're going to need to create a spacer. So approximately five and a quarter inch spacer here. So what I did on the table, I, uh, from here 
to here's that 17 and a half inches and then we'll line up this and get the bottom part here and then I got some steel tube this is one inch by uh, half inch ID and then we'll just stick that in there and I got some chrome molly rod here that I hand cut these threads with a die and these are some funky threads not really standard that's 16 millimeter by 1.25 pitch which is uh, pretty unusual it's not not a normally stocked item uh, but I did find suppliers to find that die to cut that rod to cut this rod here and then I did find a tap to uh, cut threads into here so this shaft well I'll cut this down it'll screw into here screw into there so this will be butted up there nice and tight and then I can make any uh, adjustments down here and screw this bottom into there and of course I had to buy a special drill bit because this is about a half inch hole but to cut these the 60 millimeter threads we're going to need to cut that to about 580 uh, 0.580 or approximately 15 millimeters uh, so I found this uh, Amazon about five dollars compared to I don't know 30 bucks from the supplier and the tap was maybe around 13 dollars uh, from Amazon again finding really good deals um, from Amazon and um, actually while we're at it we'll talk about the mods to this gear because this gear was not designed pull that off nice tight fit this was not designed for a 520 chain it's designed for the industrial version but the pitch is actually correct you want some loving? You want some loving? Um, so I had to hand grind this. Um, turned out okay for uh, using tools I have available. And it's going to work out nicely. So I essentially matched the, the width with um, this right here on the stock sprocket back here so that's going to work out nicely added a little uh, chamfer right here angled these teeth in so it should work out nicely and uh, another thing I worked on was finish welding the seat so we got a nice seat right here um, welded it together did okay with the that spool welder at a very low heat setting and was able to get some penetration so this thing will turn out to be pretty strong and we'll, we'll cover it with maybe a thin layer some high density foam and cover it with some uh, uh, material some nylon or whatever whatever works out and we can probably mount this, mock this up here. We're gonna, I'm gonna cut a seat tube from a bike and weld it to the bottom of this, so it'll sort of slide in like this. And um, that front hoop, so the the seat will be removable. So let me try to back this up so you can get a better idea. So it sits on there like that. And we have some, let's see if we can come down here in our box of goodies. Well, what else did we work on? Uh, made some temporary pegs as um, I haven't designed the crank set yet to make this a bicycle. Uh, but for testing purposes, I made these bolt-on 
pegs right here and do a little tigging. So um, this is the brake mount for the stock brake. Here's for the uh, slave cylinder or the hydraulic piston for that. The rear brakes there. And here's the passenger side. These are spring loaded. And, well, our next move here is we need to find a lathe so we can drill these holes a little bigger and then get this tap started straighter and then we can get the shock mounted and then we can uh, install the rear tire, install the front forks, uh, get the seat going and then get an overall feel um, of everything while it's tacked up and then um, check the chain alignment um, actually hooking it up to the rear wheel right there and hooking it up to the motor checking out that chain alignment seeing uh, if we have any interferences any weird things I did not consider uh, the chain will snake right in between through here or at least that's what uh, the CAD says so it's things like that we need to really check before we go crazy and weld this thing together completely uh, because at this point you, you, you could salvage the project by cutting the welds off and uh, sort of starting it over but so uh, hopefully I will be in a machine shop getting this cut